Bit of gardening for a change. That's a change for me, do not it? There's not to. Right, that's all our big seeds on the go. We've got four big pumpkins, four loofers, three giant tomatoes there, some giant tomatoes here, tumbling tom tomatoes, they're little ones, but Roma. So that's all our big veg done that we want. Oh, and there's a giant sweet corn there as well. One, but we can look after it in a pot on its own. So now, because them are done. Okay. Surely it was in that last night. Bubbling away. Now we'll get our peppers done. So we've got sweet banana, Jalapeno, Anna, Anna Lime, Anna Lime, Pepper, Cayenne Pepper, California Wonder Pepper, Yellow Pear Tomato, Black Cherry Tomato, Moneymaker, and Tagarella, which are going in there. I'm going to put some cucumbers in here. And then they're going in the oven for a couple of days under a propagator. Because they need eat underneath anyway, peppers. These will benefit anyway for it. So that'll be full then of cucumbers in these and these in here. And they're going in there. So that should be all our peppers and tomatoes sorted for this year. With them what's in there. Got a bit of tidy up in here. Done with them gates for a couple of days. Put the furniture on. So that lights works now. Just need another lick of brown paint, another couple of coats, and uh, off we go. We go okay. There's the back. And there's another lick of brown paint, and I'm going to go over. I've got some uh, satin black somewhere. It's over there. But I'm just going to go over it, mate, all over the edges and that, and make sure it's uh, a good coat. Because I've been banging it about and I've scratched it in a couple of places, but that paint's satin black exactly the same from metal. So I don't want to be spraying it while that wood's on. But we've got it the mandles, don't we? So I've only got that lats to put on the other one. Sprayed the hinges. Yeah. Been a road. By the bars, that, isn't it? <coughs> so I'm going to get these done and get them in the oven. I've got these as well, we had something delivered surely, like cardboard, so what I'm going to plant in them is um, the sweet corn. We'll do them in there, in both of them, for them the sweet corn, and then separate them when they're, uh, when they're ready. So that's what I'm using that for. So, whoa, what's that? Oh, that's a piece of wire. Big welding rod. That's what we'll get them in there anyway. Hey, not going to win the old plot. Back to work tonight. <coughs> Holidays over. Kettle is burning. I don't know why it's making that noise. Well, there you go. Anyway, I've just preferred that carrot bed. Got all them carrots out, what was left, because if you leak though, the rats have been in, because they've not been here. So I've emptied all that out, topped it up with a bag of compost and uh, vermiculite. It's nice and loose. So I've just been filling that out of these buckets, filling down these tubes to get it nice and damp underneath and we can plant them next week. Uh, <coughs> um, we've got some fingers off can here. Some uh, onions and garlic. So what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do with them is plant them in pods. I'll put them under that glass there. So I'll get a pod there in a minute to get some compost in. There you go. Then we've got 40 onions. 
And 27 garlic, I think. Okay, they're well spreaded. I don't know how old they are. I think these are this year's. I don't know how old this garlic is. I think he's fetched it from home. Not home. Has it done? It's well spreaded, like. It's all solid. So I'll give them, I'll put them in there now. Give them a good water and put the lid down. And they should be okay in there. Should start growing the roots. Ready for planting. When the others come out. Because they're splitting up now. So the time they're out, these will be ready for going in, one at beds or two at beds. So get them in there. And there you go. You better go drink. Lids down, so they're okay. Carrots bed sorted. That's rare peppers. So we'll get that bed uh, bulked up next. I've only got one bag of compost here, I need two for that really. I'll have to get one off Ken and uh, boom, and then a bit of tiny my dummy in here. All the onions can go at compost now. And the way they're all going soft and spritted. So we've done my light of them onions this year. Really well. Oh, I'm going to need some tobacco seeds. In fact, I'll take a couple of them pods on. I'll get some tobacco going. Just take a couple of these up. rattle. Hey, let's go and get that brew. Ooh, back in the warmth. Bit right there today. Don't know what temperature is, about seven degrees, I think. Right, I'm taking these pots home because I've got some tomatoes pot up at home. Uh, and I've also got a couple of tobacco pots. We'll plant some tobacco seeds as well. So I'll have that brew and I'll see you back there. Boom. Back at home. Right. These are them two seed pods I fetched from the uh, allotment and tobacco seeds. Watch on there. See how many's in that? Look at all them. We don't really need to because we've got all them little seeds there. Bit of one of them and there's millions more in it. Well, hundreds probably. So I'll just get them all out of there. I'll just use one. I'll put one in the seed bag. So I've got all them seeds there. I'm just going to put them in this pot here. All I'm going to do is sprinkle them on top. Get an handful, just sprinkle them and get them out of there. Yeah, there's hundreds here. So I just sprinkle them on top. Just get them there going on top. I'm going to end up with a pot full of plants here, but we'll give some away. So I think Terry wants some. Barry will have another. He had some last year. And Ken like, uh, uh, no, he doesn't smoke them, does he? He smokes electric six. And there you go, they're all in there. I'll just tamp them down. Probably end up with 200 plants in there, but we don't need them all. Took a lot of back right with it though. And there you go. Gives our damp off it sprayer. And uh, I'll get a bottle or something to cover over it. And I'll stick it in there. I found a pot bottle top. Right, I'm doing a Ken today. Bit of indoor gardening. I was going to do it shed, but it's freezing in garage. So. There's our tobacco. We've got our most important thing, a dipper and a cup of coffee. I've gone down in here about, if you look, about that deep with a pencil because I'm going to bury these tomatoes 
right up nearly up to the leaf because they'll get to the roots off all these stalks if you look very close you'll see little hairs on them so they'll get roots growing out of all that stalk so I'll bury that stalk in there so we'll get all them in there and then we'll try to fit them on there somewhere All you do is dibber it out with your dibber till it's loose and then grab it by the leaf, not the stalk. And drop it in the hole and bury it. Up to there. And that should get a good start now. Because the roots will grow out of all its stem. Where did I get that from there? Oh, there. Right, so we only need two romeros, so I'm only going to pop two up. Two of each, because we need two of each. And then the rest can stay in there, and we'll give them away, or use them as we've got any more space. But we'll have plenty, because we've got some in the shed as well. So I'll get them in there. Right, that's all them done. So I'll just let them soak all that water up, and then we'll uh, take stock of what we've got. While I'm doing that, brew down. Mm. Still an horrible day. Right, hold on a minute. Let me go and get that brew. It's better. Slipping on her. Right, so here we've got four loofers. All doing okay. They're going to stay in there because we can pump them straight out of there into pots. I think they're going into pots then. Four giant pumpkins, and yeah, no labels, so I've done I had some uh, sticky plastic sheets. So I've just wrote them on them and stuck them on pots. So probably better than labels, and anyway. I'm sure, Bobby. So those are four leafers, four giant pumpkins. One, two, three, four gigantio tomatoes. There and four giant tomatoes. Uh, hang on, no, three giant tomatoes, four giganteo. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's right. We've got two Roma tomatoes, a giant sweet corn, two alicantes, and belief tobacco. And two tumbling toms. So we can fit 12 tomatoes in that uh, tomato race. Probably a couple in pots, probably four in pots. Be safe. Uh, and then a summer greenhouse, obviously. But don't forget, I've got uh, one, two, three. Another three varieties it shed. So it's black cherry, targarella and uh, moneymaker. So we'll have plenty of tomatoes. I think Henry's picking up some sun gold because I couldn't get no seeds. And uh, uh, where could I forget that? Shirley's. Shirley tomatoes, yeah. So there you go. That's nice and damp from yesterday. I put fingers in that. Oh, did I show you? Can't remember. Cabbage, broccoli in each half, spring onion, and cauliflower. So I'm just going to try them in here without a propagator or anything because it's pretty warm in here. Uh, as long as I keep them damp, they should germinate in here. And tobacco seeds that say they'll pop through in here. So that's all that. Now I'm going to strap them up in a bit and uh, throw them in care and we'll go into the woodyard to get some of that uh, feather board. Three pieces we need and some bolts for the hinges because the bolts are a bit thin when I've got. There you go anyway, that's our gardening on the way. Plus then what we did up allotment this morning. We're well on the way. See you later. Next week now.